It was such a natural uh, step for Orem to be involved in vaccine confidence campaigns because Orem is involved right from the beginning with vaccine trials. The key was to address vaccine hesitancy. That was primary for us, um, but more so doing that innovatively. It was so exciting watching, you know, Zagala come in and set up in a field uh, next to an informal settlement, bring the music, bring the vibe. These organizations that are involved are bringing scientists, they're bringing money, but also grassroots communities um, or, or organizations that are able to work with communities on the ground. We wanted to speak in a language that communities could relate to, to understand. We're really speaking to a range of uh, experiences and realities that young people find themselves in um, and in, in the languages which people speak and understand. People follow trends. So if a younger person is actually there stepping up getting the vaccine, more younger people are going to actually understand the concept better because it's all about trends, they're all following trends. So the more younger people are being shown in the campaign, the more younger people are actually going to be interested in getting it. We saw that uptake was low. We wanted to support government. We wanted to be a reliable partner that could actually provide support to increase vaccine uptake in the country. Wearing a seatbelt is better than not wearing a seatbelt because when you are in an accident, the seatbelt prevents fatality. And that's what we keep on telling people. Protection, regardless of how, what percentage it is, is better than no protection. And really, the Zwakala campaign, it's about two things. It's about take your shot, and it's about I do it for you. And when I do it for you, we say, mask up, wash your hands, sanitize, ventilate. And it's about the continued uh, non-pharmaceutical interventions that we need to adhere to after being vaccinated. We wanted to reach grassroots communities because we feel somehow they might not necessarily have access to mainstream media channels. Um, and we think that this initiative has done a great job. You know, one of the successes that I think we should all be proud of is uh, the community leadership. That was so exciting, seeing young people walking from door to door, educating their communities, the communities they live in, about vaccinations and why it's important for them to get vaccinated. I always wanted to do this kind of thing, shoots, filming, so I thought it would be a very good initiative for me. I think I have to show them that I've vaccinated and Nothing happened, I'm fine, I'm here, and I'm healed. It's all about faith. I'm here to get my COVID-19 vaccine jab. So now, it's all about faith. Hey, 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 it's all about faith. Hello, I'm Fuken Black Cinderella here, about to get my jab. It's a David so let's watch about it. Thank you. Wow, that was so easy, guys. I just got vaccinated. So I got an answer about it. Come join us. Take your shot. Out of here. I think it has been such a great success. Number one, in terms of the geographic uh, footprint of this um, uh, initiative, um, we know that um, it, it really has reached a, a number of provinces in, in, in the country. Um, and just in the four months, um, this Swagala campaign have been able to reach at least 32,000 people. And 87% of that of those people had not been regi uh, registered on EVDS. Zokala reached out to me, and it's just an opportunity to really contribute to, to the state of, uh, you know, what's happening around the country to really put us as a professional sportsman, we have a bit of reach, so I think it's important to use that reach for the greater good. I'm a sprinter who qualified for the 2020 Olympic Games. To stay on track, I got vaccinated. From my view, it's good to actually um, 
encourage others to get involved in vaccinating so that we can back, get back to our normal lives. We were actually the example. Through the Zwakala network and through Zwakala champions, the, cafe, the campaign learns and we understand the new challenges that young people are facing, uh, the concerns that they have through a dedicated Swakala WhatsApp line, for example, we understood when the campaign, uh, when, when vaccination opened for 18 plus, um, that a lot of young people were concerned about how the jab would affect them uh, if they were taking contraception, or if they were breastfeeding, or if they intended to fall pregnant. And so these are some of the questions that then the campaign can respond to, and we develop content, um, and we, as we, we train and educate Swakala champions around um, these issues and they in turn go back and speak to their peers and their, their friends. Most of the people my age, their first take is what is negative about something. I've taken the opportunity to promote what's positive about getting vaccinated. That's how I feel I'll, I'll lead by example. Yeah. The young people that were involved were largely unemployed young people. So that's the success there. We created opportunities, we educated uh, young people. And remember also that um, vaccine hesitancy is quite high in that age group. It's going to help people who have um, like a negative mindset about vaccinating, you know, people who assume that COVID-19 is non-existent. The we have young people, about 325 young people that were trained to drive this initiative on the ground. And we're really excited that out of those, at least 280 have been employed. I will also encourage them to have a great day. Dat is het beste voor ons toekomst, voor die landse toekomst. Ik zal hulle encourage op social media. Ik zal even met mijn vrienden gaan zeggen, krijg je jeep. En ik zal het met muziek ook voor hulle zingen. Als hulle die verstaan is, ik zal met hulle praten. Chicky, stick it, vaccine, ja, stick it, vaccine, stick it, vaccine. Voor die kom met jou buik, dat ze geïsoleerd.